Well, a strange tomb, eerie sounds of fiddle music, and dancing ghosts. In this episode, we travel to Harrison Cemetery, a spot once home to a grand dancing hall, but now the final resting spot of a legend. If you come out here on a Saturday night on a full moon, you can hear fiddle music being played, and on some occasions, you can actually see him. For nearly two centuries, William Grancer Harrison's legend has continued haunting the southeastern part of Coffee County. Known for his large amount of land and slaves, Harrison owned the largest cotton plantation in the area. But it wasn't just his business that made Harrison famous. Saturdays was party night for everybody. Barbecues, horse races, and dancing became Harrison's claim to fame. Neighbors and slaves alike traveled to the plantation to participate. For years, music and the sounds of dancing could be heard throughout the area. After Harrison's death in 1860, it seemed as though the party was over. As the legend goes, Harrison had other ideas. The cemetery here started out being close to where the dance hall was because he wanted to still be able to hear the music. He wanted people to go on doing the dancing and doing the music and doing the partying. According to the story, Harrison's body was buried with his dancing shoes on his feet, his fiddle in his hands, and was laid to rest on his feather bed, which explains the oddly shaped tomb, all in preparation for his otherworldly affairs. He fixed it so he could be attending forever. Rumors of gold being buried with his body brought extreme party crashers to his graveside. A lot of people has done a lot of damage to this tomb trying to find the gold. They've dug up everywhere out here. They have found empty pots, but they haven't found any gold. Despite the graveyard vandals, it seems as though Harrison hasn't let it dampen his spirit. They played some Scottish fiddle music, and our lights just went off like crazy. And with a music video being made about him, his story being published in Catherine Tucker's 13 Alabama Ghosts and Jeffrey, the dancing ghost of Coffee County, parties on. Now, it is important to mention the cemetery is privately owned and is open only from sunrise to sunset.